Om Shanti. Good morning to all of you. Shall I start the Murli? Or you want to wait for others to join? So we can start. We can start? Yeah. Yeah, so before I start the Murli, I would like to say Happy Father's Day to all of you. It is still 18th year for you. It is 19th. But 18th June is celebrated as the Father's Day all around the world. And here we are. We know who the true father is. Our eternal father. Our supreme father. Baba is giving us so much on a regular basis. We don't even have to celebrate. We don't have to keep one day for celebrating the Father's Day. But for us, every day is a celebration. Every day we celebrate with our Baba, the Father's Day, right? So in the morning, I was sharing with, uh, with the class that how, you know, if we look at this word Father, each alphabet of this word Father has some or the other attributes of Baba. The first letter F stands for fortune teller or fortune maker. So Baba is the one who, who, is, who really is helping us create our fortune and who is seeing us as a star of fortune. You know, so this Murli that I will be reading today is in the first part, Baba is actually seeing all of us as stars of fortune. We are Baba's special stars of fortune. And Baba is telling us you know, that what Baba sees in us, Baba is comparing with what the worldly fortune tellers, you know, they tell you when they look at your palms, your hands, what do they tell? And what Baba is telling you, you know, usually they talk about you know, how long you're going to live, how your relationships are going to be, and how wealthy you're going to be, how much education you're going to receive, you know, so mainly four things they talk about. So Baba is telling all these four things in a very beautiful spiritual way, what Baba is seeing in us. And he does not have to look at our palms, but Baba is saying that I look at your forehead. When I look at your forehead, I can see your, I can see your fortune. And then Baba is also telling us the method, how we can see our own fortune. What do we have to do? What do we need to do so that we are able to see our own fortune? So Baba is telling us the method, how to do that. So that is about the first part. And in the second part of the Murli, Baba is telling us how it is important to stay in the seat of elevated self-respect. So when I was telling about huh, this alphabet, the alphabets in the letter Father, A stands for Almighty Authority. So Baba is the Almighty Authority. And in this Murli, Baba is reminding us huh, that you, you should always stabilize yourself in the seat of this awareness that I am a master Almighty Authority. So when we are sitting in this position, then Maya will not even come close to us. And so who are we? We are master, almighty, authority souls. And then T stands for truth and trust in Baba. So Baba is the ocean of truth. Baba tells us everything about us. We had forgotten. So Baba is asking us today, how did you forget? Why did you forget your original identity? Hmm? So Baba says that now I have come and I am revealing the truth to you that you are, you are a soul. So this reality we come to know when Baba comes. So that is the true information that we receive from Baba. So not only just about ourselves, but also so many real things Baba tells us. What, who is Baba? Who is God? about the world cycle, you know, everything we come to know from Baba. So that is the letter T. And then comes the letter H. So H stands for 
Baba as a healer, how Baba heals us by injecting, by injecting his love upon us. Every single day we feel Baba's love coming towards us in the form of Murli, right? Baba tells us so many beautiful things. Baba tells us how we have been infected with the germs, germs of vices. And Baba has the injection that Baba uses to kill those germs. We just have to be with Baba. So today Baba in this Murli, Baba is also telling us about the germs that infect us. And the main germs that infect us are the germs of I and mine. So we need to get rid of this I and mine from our life. Then we will always be happy. We will heal very quickly. So that is about H. And then what comes after H is E. So E stands for how encouraging Baba is. We come down, we fall down, our consciousness falls down. We become upset, something happens. Baba always says that your stage kind of fluctuates, right? But Baba is always encouraging us. You can do it. You are such a beautiful soul. You have done it before and you are going to do it again. So many encouraging words Baba tells us in the Murli every day. And in today's Murli also Baba is saying, see, you are master bestowers. You have to give. You have to give to everyone. So many people are looking for you. So Baba is encouraging us. Go and serve. Right? And the last word is, last word in the Father is R. So R means Baba is so responsible. Just like any worldly father. Any worldly father takes the responsibility of taking care of the family making sure that everyone gets food, shelter, home, everything, right? So similarly, Baba is also taking this responsibility to serve us. Baba always says, I am your obedient servant and I am here to serve you. So Baba is, Baba has taken this responsibility to create a beautiful world of heaven where all comforts will be there for us. So Baba it's also talking about the throne. We have to sit in Baba's heart throne. And Baba has given us this responsibility, the crown of responsibility that we have to wear. And we have to also, along with Baba, we also have to create that beautiful world of heaven. So this was a little bit about the father, the alphabets in this letter. The word Father, we can think about all the attributes of Baba, what Baba is doing for us. So with that, let's listen to Baba's Murli of. <clears throat> Let me share with you the screen. And you can see, everyone can see the screen. Yes, yes, sister. Sir. Yes. yes. Okay. So, this Murli was spoken on 26th of June, 1974. And the topic, the title of this Murli is Remain Constantly Stable in the Spiritual Intoxication of Attaining Complete Success. Remain Constantly Stable in the Spiritual Intoxication of attaining complete success. So today, the father, the son of knowledge, Baba is, Baba has come as the son of knowledge. So the son of knowledge is seeing the line of fortune on the forehead of each star. So sit with this awareness that I am a lucky star. So Baba says in a logic way, when palmists, they read someone's horoscope from the hand, they look at four main things. So here too, four main things are seen, not from the hands, but from the forehead. Yeah. So what are those four things? 
Baba is telling us. Uh, Baba says the first one, it is seen how clear and how unlimited the line of the intellect is. So Baba is seeing that unlimited and clear intellect. How clear and how unlimited the line of the intellect is. Second is, it is seen to what extent you are imbibing the wealth of knowledge at every moment. So people out there, they talk about, they want to know about how wealthy they are going to be in terms of physical wealth. But here, Baba is seeing to what extent we are imbibing the wealth of knowledge at every moment. To what extent you are free from the obstacles of the suffering of karma through the body and to what extent you have been free from obstacles in having a constant link of love through your mind from the moment you died alive until now. So that is the second one Baba is looking at. What obstacles are coming in your way that is taking you away from Baba. So that also Baba is looking at. Then third one is, it is seen whether the lifespan of the awareness of your elevated Brahmin birth is long or short. Right? People in the world, they ask about the physical life. But here, Baba is talking about the lifespan of this awareness of your elevated Brahmin birth, whether it is long or short. If you continue to have remembrance, you are alive. And if you keep forgetting, you reach the point of death. See what Baba is saying. If you forget, that means you are dead. So on the basis of this, you can tell whether your lifespan is long or short. So that Baba was looking at. Fourth, it is seen in your life of dying alive. To what extent you have been fortunate in terms of love, relationships, connections, and all powers. In terms of percentage, has your line of fortune been unbroken? So about relationships, people also, they also want to know about their relationships. And here Baba is also asking us, so seeing us, what, how our relationship is. And in terms of percentage, has your line of fortune been unbroken? To what extent are you an embodiment of success, regular and punctual in your study and earning? For how many souls have you been a great donor, a bestower of blessings and a benefactor? That is, is your line of donating and performing charity long or short? From all of these things, Baba is seeing the present and the future of each star. All of you can see and recognize the line of your fortune, but how? So now Baba will tell. We can also see and we can also recognize the line of our fortune. But how? Baba says, you will be able to recognize it clearly if you look at it whilst seated on Bab Dada's heart throne. Whilst having the tilak of awareness and while stabilizing yourself in the stage of being knowledgeful and powerful. So Baba is asking us to sit in Baba's heart throne and having this tilak of awareness and then the crown of stability. So Baba says, when you leave your position and look at yourself or others while stabilized in the stage of Maya's opposition, 
you are not able to see it as clearly. So Baba is also telling us why you are not able to see clearly. Because you are not stabilized in the stage of being knowledgeful and powerful. And then Maya comes to then oppose you. So which position is that? What is your own position in which all things are included? That of a master, almighty authority. So who am I? This is another self-respect point. I am a master, almighty authority. I am a star of fortune. In the beginning, Baba said, you are a star of fortune. And then you are master bestowers. And also knowledgeable, powerful, stable. And now Baba is saying, master almighty authority. And Baba says, constantly perform every action while stable in this position. And this position will make you go beyond every obstacle of maya and make you completely free from obstacles. So we have to stabilize ourselves in this position. Who am I? I am a master almighty authority. Then no obstacles will touch us. So Baba says in the world, no one has the courage to oppose someone with authority. If they become slack in using their authority, an ordinary person would feel free to oppose them, causing a disturbance or creating obstacles. So here too, because you remain slack in using the authority, powers and blessings you have attained, Maya has the courage to oppose you at every moment. Maya then has the courage to interfere in your thoughts, words, deeds, relationships, and wealth. So how Maya enters? Baba is telling us five doors. There are five doors through which Maya enters. Through our thoughts, through our words, our actions, our relationships, and wealth. So Baba says, because you come down from your position of authority and become ordinary, Maya doesn't leave you alone in any aspect. So the moment you get down from your position, Baba says, Maya then grabs you. Maya does not leave you alone. The Baba says, generally an ordinary soul who attains some temporary success maintains so much authority, right? Even in the world out there, they get success in something. They are able to maintain that authority. They are so intoxicated, right? So Baba says here too, while attaining all success, now Baba is telling us 12 areas of success. Whether it is success in, first one is being constantly free from illness. So all these are like self-respect points. Who am I? I, the soul, am constantly free from illness. So these are also, you know, different self-respect points that we can use uh, as we are positioning ourselves in that seat seat of self-respect, high self-respect. Just like Baba told us, I am a master almighty authority. And then after that, we have to also create all these thoughts. I, the soul, am constantly free from illness. So that's the first one. And then second is being able to control the elements. So I am the one who has full Control over the elements. So as you are listening to this, also see yourself becoming that. You know, so this is what Mama used to do. You know, this month we are especially remembering Mama. You know, once Mama was asked, what did you do 
Well, so many souls came to Baba, but what effort did you make that made you come, come first? You took number one position. So you know what Mama said? What Mama said? That whatever Baba would say in the Murli, then and there, she would see herself becoming that. So that was her practice. So that is why she came number one. So as we are listening to the Murli, you know, we, we should also see ourselves in that form. Not just listening to the Murli, but also becoming that. So that way we will also, we also can claim number one, just like Mama. Right? So see yourself constantly free from illness. Even if illness is coming in many different forms, but I am not affected by them. Right? I am free from illness. Illness in the form of vices, right? How did these illnesses, they come to us? They come in the form of vices. So see yourself constantly free from any kind of illness. And then I, the soul, am <clears throat> the controller. I have full control over the elements, the five elements. I'm a conqueror of conqueror of the five elements. Right? Prakriti Jeet, what Baba says. Then making a poor, unhappy, and peaceless soul constantly happy and wealthy with imperishable wealth. So see yourself, someone coming to you, very unhappy, very peaceless. And just by coming close to you, because of your energy, because you are connected to Baba, and because of that, they are able to experience happiness. Constantly happy and wealthy with imperishable wealth. So you are able to connect their soul to Baba. So they are also able to receive Baba's wealth, Baba's property. Right? So I am that. So success in making souls happy. So that kind of success. And then fourth, making a weak soul very strong. Someone is coming to you very weak, talking all different things. The interaction with you, he's trying to interact with you, telling everything, all the waste, all the weak thoughts is sharing with you. And you are making that soul very strong. So I am a powerful soul who is making a weak soul very strong. Next, being able to stabilize and control your thoughts as and how you wish in a second. Just in a second, you're able to stabilize and control your thoughts as and how you wish in a second. Self-sovereign soul, I am a self-sovereign soul. I have full control over my thoughts. I can steer my thoughts in any direction. Next is being able to control the five vices in the form of the great evil spirits. So controller of the five vices. Next is being able to make those who are without sight become three netri. Third eye, you are gifting someone. Yes. That means you are awakening someone. Someone was really ignorant, didn't know about anything. And he's coming to you, you are he or she is coming to you, and you are awakening that soul, enlightening that soul, gifting that soul with Baba's knowledge. 
So next, making souls who have become unconscious through the distress of various circumstances conscious through your own stage that is giving them the donation of life. Huh? Baba, many times Baba talks about Sanjeevani Bhuti, right? That herb. Baba calls us as Hanuman. You are Hanuman. And Baba has given you that Sanjeevani Bhuti uh, that you have to use to awaken the souls who are really unconscious. Uh, through your own stage, Baba is saying. Uh, so your own stage is such that you are making unconscious ones conscious. Giving them the donation of life. This is so beautiful. Next. Showing the destination once and for all to souls who are wandering. Souls are wandering here and there. They don't know the way, the path. And you are the one. You are showing them the true path. You have that torch. They are in darkness and you are giving them a torch. Think about it. If you are lost somewhere and someone comes and someone gives you a torch, use this torch and go in this direction. How grateful you will be for that person. And so many blessings will come. Right? From your mouth. So similarly, if we show everyone the destination, once and for all, we show them the direction that we have received from Baba, that they will be filled with so much of gratitude and they will give us blessings. Right? So see yourself doing that, showing destination, the destination to those souls who are wandering, who are lost. Next, increasing the lifespan of Many birds. Baba says that the more you remember me, the more you are able to increase your lifespan of many birds. So if you are able to help someone else come close to Baba, you are actually helping that soul increase the lifespan of many birds. So that is a success. Success in service. Right. Next is saving someone from untimely death. Someone is just about to commit suicide and you come, you appear in front of that person and you rescue that person. You show them the true path, the true direction, the light and that person then gets a new life. So that is about saving someone from untimely death. Then the last one is attaining the fortune of the kingdom, crown and throne. See what we are getting from Baba? We are giving to others. The fortune of the kingdom, crown. Baba is giving us the crown initially. Baba is giving us this crown of responsibility and then later on this crown will change into the crown that's studded with gold and diamond. Right? And then the throne Baba has given us his heart throne. And when we sit on his heart throne now, we will be able to sit in that throne that will be the future throne in the golden age that will be studded with Again, diamond and gold. Right? So that is our fortune. So success in all these 12 different areas. Baba is saying, so who am I? I am a successful soul. So Baba says, how much intoxication should be experienced by a soul who has attained all the powers of success by using the right method? So Baba uses, you know, two rhyming words, Siddhi and Vidhi. 
So you can get Siddhi, that means success, only if you use the right method, that is Vidhi. Right? So Baba says, why do you forget yourself? You have to take support from the Father. But instead of that, you step away from the Almighty Authority. If you leave the boatman, no, Baba is also our boatman. If you leave the boatman and look for another shore, that is another destination, would you find it or would your time be wasted? Bab Dada feels mercy for such innocent and forgetful children. But for how long? As long as you want or need to experience Baba's mercy. This is a very important point that Baba is making here. Underline point. As long as you want or need to experience Baba's mercy, you will not be able to be merciful towards others. It's a very important point. We cannot be merciful towards others if we continue to ask for mercy from Baba. Then Baba says, those who take, those who take cannot be bestowers themselves. And Baba is giving this example. Just as a beggar cannot make another beggar full. Just as a beggar cannot make another beggar full. So we should not ask for anything. Baba always says that you have to renounce everything. Forget about asking. You have to give everything to Baba. Yes. So Baba says, yes, on the basis of some powers, they would be able to make a temporary impact on them, but they would not be able to make someone else full in everything for all time. They can give an experience to the point where a soul would say, it is good, it is good, but they cannot bring them to the stage of becoming completely ignorant of desire. Ichha matram avidya. Isthiti. Right? No one can give, give us that kind of experience where we don't, we don't want anything. We don't even have this knowledge of what is desire. You are ignorant of this word desire because you are so full. Right? And this is what will be the stage of divine beings they will they will have everything so they will not even know this word desire what is desire this word will not exist in the golden age and how because now is the time when those souls who are going to become divine beings they their desires have been fulfilled by baba so that is why they are so full so full that they don't even remember the word desire when they go to the golden age. You know, and uh, so Baba says, when a soul just says that something is good, the desire for all attainments is not fulfilled. Those who desire to receive cooperation themselves Love, courage, zeal, and enthusiasm from the Father and other cooperative souls. Those who desire to receive cooperation themselves, love, courage, zeal, and enthusiasm from the Father and other cooperative souls, or who take any kind of support, cannot be instruments who are images of support for all souls. So, Adhar Murat. They won't be Adhar Murat because they themselves are asking. Right? So Baba says, so this is another title for us. Who am I? I am an image of support for everyone. So Baba says, a soul who is dependent on the elements, situations, people, or material comforts. Four things Baba is talking about. Dependency on the elements, situations, people, or material comforts. 
cannot make another soul claim all rights to everything. Therefore, know all your powers of success and use them, but just use them as an instrument. So Baba is telling us the method, whatever you have been given, definitely you, have, you use it because that is, that has been provided to you to serve. So use, but at the same time, what should be the awareness? That I am an instrument. Huh? So Baba says, forget the consciousness of I and use all your powers of success on the basis of Srimad. If you use any of your powers of success with the consciousness of I, then what is the saying for that? So this is the saying. To use occult power is dangerous and causes a loss to the self. So this will be kind of loss. We will be at loss. Baba says if you use this consciousness that I did this, but I, not I, but it's all Baba who is making me do. Right? So Baba says that is, instead of claiming a high status, you experience punishment. If you are not a detached observer, there is punishment. So see what Baba is saying. Whatever we do, we have to have this awareness that I, the soul, am a detached observer. So we should not get attached to anything, anything gross or anything subtle. Baba always tells us, you know, to keep checking. If I'm attached to anything, then I will not be able to detach myself and attach to Baba. So Baba says that if you really want to attach to someone or something, attach to Baba. Cling to Baba. Baba uses this word many times in the Muldi. Just cling to Baba. You cling to Baba, then you will always be happy and absorb Baba's energy. Cling to Baba and absorb Baba's energy. So be an observer and absorb Baba's energy. So that way, Baba says, there won't be any punishment. Therefore, constantly be an embodiment of awareness now, Smriti Swarup and an embodiment of the powers of success. That means Siddhi Swarup. Do you understand? Acha. So I think this nearly is ended. This is it. Yes. So beautiful Muli from Baba. So many points Baba made today and Baba is really, really helping us to bring about a change in ourselves, our consciousness, the way we interact, the way we see everyone. We have to change. We have to change ourselves so that we can, we can bring about a change in the world. When we change, then we can change the world. Sha Om Shanti. Anyone has any questions or anything you would like to ask, say? Yes. Om Shanti, sister. Um, I felt very good today that as, as Baba said that you are an instrument and personally even I have the fear of losing everything what I achieve and I constantly experience that I have been facing these situations that I first attained success but I made a, make a, many many mistakes and then I feel that I will lose everything this thought every every time comes to me but Baba has removed my tension today by saying that always think that you are an instrument and whatever is being done is being done by Baba. So by thinking this, I, I, I simply uh, feel very, very, very light because if it is Baba is, oh, who is doing it, then everything will be good ultimately. 
so thank you so much om shanti that's a beautiful point to practice and make ourselves carefree and light mab always says you are carefree emperors right om shanti sister you just hit upon the right word when you before starting the modli and what was that word i shall just tell you the intoxication you just created in me what is that i shall share now my fortune teller my creator who gave me the spiritual birth after so many births my supreme lord my boatman who has come to take me across holds my hand puts me on his shoulders and shows me the road to success and he gives me the recipe to success yes that magical word which you said is my father my father my father and what a right time just yesterday we celebrated father's day and what a way to just bring him into that perfect unique universal relationship and again in yesterday's abhyaktwani baba spoke of two fathers whom i take care i give father shiva rest and i rule with father brahma if all the smriti i keep in me my father smriti if i hold it in my heart and if i have the stiti of being a very knowledgeful and powerful and if i sit on the throne what a position i can just see light 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 and success in front of me me my father and i as child both are wa baba wa child om shanti that's beautiful vijay ben very nice very nicely said thank you for sharing that om shanti so i like this point uh, where baba said you know being that almighty master almighty authority position stabilizing and then uh, then you know we can go beyond all the obstacles and uh, here baba said that in the world when someone uh, with authority right then uh, no one will oppose like a president or a prime minister when they are given in being seated in that their seat and give orders then that will be carried out and when they step down no one will even uh, you know uh, take that in order right then they become ordinary right here also when uh, we come down from that awareness then maya will oppose us so uh, in our thoughts words and action relation or purposes to keep that awareness because you have uh, I, i mean if you forget that then we become ordinary that's what purposes om shanti thank you brother for sharing that beautiful point om shanti sister a uh, wonderful murli i really like the 12 aspects or the attributes of the of the an elevated soul uh, and uh, to check that the stage is as elevated as uh, what bab dada expects from us and these are the checking points actually those 12 points and uh, actually my endeavor to practice each of them and check with with respect to each parameter uh om shanti yeah baba always says check and change right so baba has given us checking points we need to change ourselves 
good good thank you brother Om Shanti, the point where Baba makes today that the one who is a taker from elements, from situations, from people cannot be a giver. So being the consciousness that I am an instrument and I'm here to serve Baba's work, being that consciousness and drop the consciousness of taking or being in the consciousness of I and mine, just drop all of that. And be present to who you are in the self-respect point of I am a giver here as an instrument to serve. Om Shanti. Yes, yeah. I was thinking about this, you know, today. And to this month being the month of Mama, I was reading about... Um, you know, Mama in this, that book, Adi Devi, you must be knowing about that book, Adi Devi. And one thing I really liked about what was written in that book was about, um, about Saraswati, how Mama is shown, always shown, you know, in white. And it was written that, that white color, you know, sometimes people ask, you know, what is the importance of white color? And um, white color is actually uh, when it is passed through the prism, you know, then it can it gets dispersed into seven different colors. So white color is actually, it is a combination of all the colors. Uh, so what does that mean? That all the virtues, whoever has all the virtues in them, that is symbolic of that white color. And also, you know, when, when we see different colors around us, uh, if something is appearing red or blue, uh, so we are seeing that color because all the other colors are absorbed except that red color. And that's why we are able to see that red color. Mm -hmm. So when we are seeing black color, for example, what does that mean? That all the colors are being absorbed by the black color. That's why we are not able to see any color, just black, because everything else is getting absorbed. And when we see the white color, what it means is that nothing is absorbed, but everything gets reflected back. So what it means is that we should not take anything from anyone, but we should always give everything, whatever we receive from Baba, give everything to everyone. So that is a beautiful explanation of why we all wear white, because we want to give, we don't want to take anything from anyone, but we have to reflect whatever we are getting from Baba, we have to give to everyone. So that is a beautiful point that we are. Who are we? We are master customers. So we have to reflect everything. I'm so clarifying that why do we wear white in such a deep sense of it. Thank you for sharing that, sister. Yeah, I really love the explanation, actually. It was written in that book. I happen to read because I like to read the books, you know, especially related to whatever, you know, the dates, they come up, important dates, especially. So I like to read that. So I was just looking at that book, Adi Devi, maybe you can also read, you know, there, are, there is a lot of things about Mama in that book, Adi Devi. So... Sister, I just had a small, if you could clarify that. If you see in the last paragraph, Baba says, don't have the desire to receive from Baba, don't ask for mercy, don't be a beggar, then mm -hmm. you cannot make anyone complain. They'll say, very good, very good, and they go. But why has Baba said, if I have the consciousness of I, it's an occult power. Because occult power, there is no I-ness in that. 
in an occult power that person who is trying to obtain that power takes control of things external he gets the power from all those evil things and then he takes it in and that is the occult power so i just want to say babas when he mentions here the consciousness of i is like occult power could you just relate it please yeah so that is a very good point you know baba is making that means you know if we have the consciousness of i so it means as if you know we are we are giving our powers to maya <laughs> we can say like that right the moment i and mine comes we lose the power that means maya takes away all our powers and then we become like slaves and we have no control over anything else so that's why we have to if if we are saying i then we need to be in this awareness who that i is i the soul so the moment we become aware that i the soul am a child of baba then and we stay in that high position that baba talked about i am a master almighty authority then no one will have the power to snatch away our powers from us then we will not become slave of anyone right does that answer your question yeah i got it instead of i i should think i as an instrument or maybe i should substitute i for baba receiving power from baba and not giving away my power to maya you know the, because the moment we come down from that seat maya snatches us grabs us so we have to be very careful of what we are thinking what is our what is in our consciousness okay what else who else would like to ask or say something the other important thing in today's murli is those 12 success points that baba has brought in it's like complete intoxication i've written that while you were talking about it on the chat it's absolute intoxication wonderful yeah thank you for writing <laughs> yeah so nicely in, in short we start today's murli by mentioning that you know check yourself are you in your position of self respect only when you move on to the position of opposition and sits with maya is when you get through all of those other things that attacks you so yeah. baba uses you know these rhyming words position and opposition so we have to see you know whether we are really situated properly or not otherwise there is a risk of being attacked by maya so we have to be very careful okay and i will write here for all of you the what i have um the thought that came to me about the these alphabets if f for fortune teller a for almighty authority t for the truth truthful one baba is the truthful one and h for baba is the one who heals everyone and e is for baba is the one who is always encouraging and enthusiastic baba infuses enthusiasm in us and then r for baba takes the responsibility baba is so responsible for creating new world for us so if you remember all of this then 
that is like true celebration of Father's Day. Sister, would you put that message to everyone? Because I think it's come only directly oh, to me and others are not okay. able to see. And I'm not able okay. to copy that. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Sorry. So I will do it like everyone, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that. I didn't realize that it's going only to... Yeah. Balvin's sister just messaged me and that's when I realized that it's only come one-to-one. -one. <laughs> okay, I will do it again. Almighty F stands for fortune teller, A for almighty authority, T stands for the truthful one. Truthful one and also trustworthy one actually. You know, Baba is the one whom we can trust. And H stands for Baba is the one who really heals through, heals through love he injects us every day and baba is the one who really encourages us he's so encouraging and enthusiastic he infuses so much enthusiasm in us every day right and then r stands for responsibility baba has given us the crown of responsibility but Baba actually, he can, he can bring that new world by himself. But Baba is giving us this chance. We can be his, we can be co-creators and we can bring that world. Right? So in the interest of time, we can move on to a short meditation. Sure, sure. So now let's, let's together express our gratitude to our sweet father, who is the fortune teller. He sees us in such an elevated form as a star of fortune. So see yourself sitting in Baba's heart throne, experiencing Baba's love, Baba's light, absorbing Baba's energy. And sitting with this intoxication that I, the soul, am a master almighty authority. With this awareness, you are very stable. And Baba is reminding, reminding you that you are also a master bestower. So see yourself bestowing Baba's love, Baba's light, Baba's wisdom on other souls, showing them the right path, awakening them from their deep sleep of ignorance and bringing them very close to Baba. Showing them the light. Oh, Shanti. Oh, Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Anishka sister. Thank you, divine family. And we meet tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Baba. Oh, Shanti. Oh, Shanti. Oh, Shanti.